This video is brought to you by Fiverr, a global online marketplace matching businesses to the freelancers they need. This is not an unbiased video, and I apologize in advance for my allergies. Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and I spent, what, most of the past 10 years here on YouTube reviewing camera gear. But before all that, I don't think I've shared this here on YouTube with you. I'd spent more than 20 years in the business world. Not that our YouTube channel isn't a business, but I'm talking specifically about working for large corporations on the one hand, working for and founding more than one startup on the other. I've been responsible at different times for just about every aspect of business, from analysis to strategy, sourcing, logistics, finance, software development, business development, product management, and executive management. Fundraising, you get the idea. And I've learned a thing or two, one of them being something as simple and obvious, if too often forgotten by too many, as this. There are enormous differences between reviewing a product and creating a product and then bringing it to market. Which is why, while I've shared my frustrations with you over the years about what manufacturers in the industry haven't done the way I might like them to, I've also been quick to praise manufacturers because I know what it takes to build something right. I hope you'll agree that when I've offered criticisms, as I often do, I've done so without rancor, sometimes with more than a bit of humor, but in any case, always with respect for the people who do the very hard work of producing actual things. I also learned very early on, again, among many other things, that there are two types of managers in this world. Those who hire people who are better than they are for the specific tasks at hand, and those who don't. Hold that thought other than to say the obvious. You want to either be the former or work for the former. I was reminded of all of this recently when what began as idle noodling, really. Great fun, with a dear friend about what we'd like to see in a grip for our cameras that no one seemed to be doing. Still doesn't seem to be doing. Morphed into a, wait a minute, why not do it ourselves kind of moment, which eventually morphed into this, cue the reveal. Yeah, we've formed a new company, Helium Design Lab, to build things and bring them to market, things we want for ourselves and hope that others will want as well in the photographic gear space. And this is our very first product, a patent pending, anti-theft, no futz, thoroughly considered and just f beautiful grip for our Leica Q3s. Hold that thought. Not that I'm biased or anything nor that there aren't already a number of quite good grips out there. We know we've bought and used a number of them. It's just that there's nothing out there of which we're aware that gives us what we want. Nothing quite like this grip designed entirely in service of a more perfect union between the photographer and his or her camera. One, as I just said, the Helium Design Lab grip is a patent pending anti-theft camera grip that seamlessly and invisibly integrates, we're really proud of this, Apple's AirTag, 
useful not only in tracking your camera should it ever be stolen, but for those of us who either A, misplace our camera and need help finding it, or B, are so excited to get out onto the street, meet up with a tour group, whatever, that we forget to take the camera with us and need to be automatically reminded before it's too late. Two, when we say no futs, we mean no futs. A, we designed the grip for the kind of secure just two fingers hold I use while roaming the streets, allowing unfettered access to all primary and secondary controls while reducing the load on your wrist, neck, or shoulder. B, we designed multiple attachment points on the base plate so that you can secure your strap however you want. Standard camera lug setup for around the neck carry, over the shoulder carry, or what I like to call and use most often to fill in carry. Either standard camera lug or bottom tripod socket for most often wrist strap carry. Even non-standard dual lug on the right side of the camera due to an extra lug on our base plate inspired by the original and brilliant compact 35mm film like a CL for neck, shoulder, or wrist carry. C. Of course, we designed our base plate with profiled openings for easy access to battery, battery release switch and SD card door. Although maybe I shouldn't say of course because not all grips allow that access. D. We're really proud of this feature too. We designed our base plate not only to be Arca Swiss compatible, again, not all base plates are, but to be uniquely peak design capture clip compatible without the need for a separate quick release plate. Like I said, no futs. Three, when we say thoroughly considered, we mean thoroughly considered. As in, yet another thing we're excited to bring you. A no-compromise thumb rest, not only integrated into the grip itself, thus freeing the hot shoe completely for flash or other accessories, hold that thought too, but making it easy to reach any control you'd want with your thumb that hot shoe-based thumb rests we've tried can't quite duplicate. Finally, four, when we say freaking beautiful, we mean beauty that is more than skin deep. We're talking A. Beautiful attention to details, like camphored edges everywhere, to enhance the feel and reduce any chance of snag in hand. B. Beautiful materials, like using a higher grade of alloy than any other grip we've seen to maximize strength while minimizing weight. C. Beautifully responsible, I think it fair to say, as in we've insisted on having it made entirely in the United States as a very small way of contributing to our local economy. And D, beautifully extensible, as in not only available with or without the thumb rest, but as in other versions of the grip already in the queue for Fujifilm, other Leicas, ergo keeping that hot shoe free for, say, a VisoFlex on an M, and Sony's. Maybe Nikon if you guys let us know that that's where you want to go. Did I mention we're having fun? Anyway, that's a bit of what we've been up to, and if you want to learn more or stay in the loop on our way to full production, please hop over to www.heliumlab.design and sign up. But I want to return to that second thought I asked you to hold about the two types of managers to tell you how we applied that rule at Helium Design Lab. We do eat the dog food. And maybe you saw this coming. We hired the right person for the right task, the right way, using today's sponsor, Fiverr, a global online community of freelancers doing just the kinds of things we knew we needed to hand off to others, a key deliverable in particular neither of us had the time nor skill to do on our own. The thing of it is, my friend and partner, Ed, amazing as he is with computer-aided design, He's a registered architect, he has his own industrial design practice, and is an absolute whiz not only for creative design thinking noodling with me, but for our initial 3D renderings and many rounds of 3D printed prototypes. That's another story for another time. Ed would be the first person to tell you that 3D animation, which is what I showed you in the reveal just a few minutes ago, is not something with which he is familiar, and he definitely did not have the time to learn. This turned out to be a perfect example of knowing our company's limitations. I mean, I personally was never a viable alternative, in case you're wondering. Together, we recognized the need to quickly find someone better than we were for 3D animation, a very specific time-boxed task, 
learned in anger, as the Brits would say, that Fiverr made it easy to find a highly rated 3D animator who lived up to his rating, and we were delighted with the process and the result. Part of the reason for this is that it wasn't Fiverr's first rodeo. They've been matching clients and freelancers for more than a decade through their website and mobile app, and by that I mean seamlessly and transparently selecting, contracting, communicating, and structuring projects with clearly defined deliverables, pricing, and expectations, how to manage scope creep, and a bilateral management process for handling revisions, which too many people take for granted all at their own peril. That's it for today. A little bit about our product, a little bit about the management of transforming a concept into a product. A big shout out to Fiverr for sponsoring this video and being a compelling resource for us in the real world. And finally, a request that you show them some love and check them out next time you need excellent freelance talent at www.fiverr.com. So, thanks Fiverr. And in the meantime, guys, Ed and I would love to know what you think about our grip in the comments section below. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join the conversation in the comments section below because this is an exceptional audience. If you'd like help with a portfolio review, gear selection, finding or honing your artistic voice, sign up for a one-on-one -on -one mentoring video called via Zoom at 3bmep.com slash booking. Finally, please consider supporting our work by using the no cost you affiliate links down below, sending us coffee money via PayPal, or most especially joining us on Patreon links down below as well. However you choose to support us, as always, we thank you for